So far here in New Zealand, we have only had documentaries from the USA or the UK that are geared towards the health issues of eating an animal-based diet. But now we have our very own documentary called The Big Fat Lie, and it's currently doing a tour of the country trying to get Kiwis to be proactive with their health. Let me tell you a bit more about it. Hi, Fee here, the healthy vegan author, helping people to go vegan through my books and encouraging you to stay vegan. So later on this evening, I've been asked to be on the panel for a Q&A after this documentary, The Big Fat Lie, is shown. Oh, we have a full house, by the way. Sold out within a few days, which is so encouraging that people are actually wanting to see what the alternatives are to pharmaceutical medication. So this film has been made by the New Zealand documentary maker Grant Dixon. Uh, he already made he's already made um, four other documentaries, of which three have been shown on our national TV. In this one, I found it rather intriguing as to why he's not been able to find a distributor. But luckily he's passionate enough about this that he's personally taking it around the country. Now, The Big Fat Lie is about his own personal experience when he had a heart attack uh, at the age of 58. You know, he, he went through the, um, the usual procedures, etc. And then a year later, he discovered Dr. Caldwell Esselton, renowned heart surgeon who has over 150 scientific publications and written books on the subject of the prevention and reversal of heart disease using whole food plant-based eating. Or simply put, you know, healthy vegan, <laughs> like moi. Now, I've not seen the doco yet. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. But I have seen the trailer, and he's got some pretty up-there people in it, you know, professors and doctors, health specialists, and, you know, the, the type of people that should know their stuff. But he's also approached government departments, and I think also the dairy industry, which, you know, I'm fairly certain wouldn't have been very entirely um, productive, but I'll have to wait and see. The movie does call for the radical change to um, government health policy. Apparently, it challenges the Ministry of Health to amend policies and to inform Kiwis that heart disease, diabetes and obesity can be prevented or reversed through a whole plant foods lifestyle. You know, however, you know, we have such a massive primary industry centered around dairy, beef and lamb that it will take a mega catastrophe to change the politicians' minds to do anything to jeopardize the animal ag industry. Mind you, meat consumption is um, about 15% down with beef dropping by about a third, but sheep meat consumption consumption dropping a whopping um, 83%. Now, I believe catastrophe is looming a lot faster than what the governments think. But will they heed the warnings by people like Sir David Attenborough, who's gone vegetarian because he believes that meat um, in the meat industry is the leading cause of climate change? I actually believe that dairy is a massive part of that too. So I don't know whether uh, Sir David uh, has actually ditched the dairy as well. Anywho, can't wait to see this doco tonight. Now it is available to rent for only $5. I'll leave the link below. Do yourself a favour. And if you have loved ones who are coming into or are in the heart attack bracket, Get them to watch it with you. And now it's time for the wee bonus fact.
A news item came across my desk a couple of days ago. Yep, New Zealand and Australia are still shipping live cattle, mainly dairy cows. Our agriculture minister is turning a blind eye to the suffering and deaths happening to these cows. Kind of seems the ministry would rather side with Wellard, which is a huge Australian live export corporation. They'd rather side with them than, without our, than with our own animal welfare standards. So another expose has been broadcasted on Australian's uh, network TV. And part of it was showed secret footage of cows being loaded into the ships last month in New Zealand. It's a disgrace. The journey, which is weeks long, is horrendous for the cows, some of which are pregnant. They're lying in their own filth, they're dying, they don't have enough to eat, they're crippled, bones are jutting out. They're in a terrible state. Then there's the farmer at the other end in Sri Lanka. He's been promised healthy dairy cows, but what he's getting is diseased and dying animals. Wellard is not honouring any vet services or guidance for these farmers and in fact they're pushing to get a further 15,000 cows from New Zealand and Australia into Sri Lanka. This has, it's just got to stop. Live export is an animal welfare disaster and it seems that our minister just is washing his hands of the problem once they leave our shores. Up to 35,000 live animals have been exported from New Zealand since 2017. Now, the live animals for slaughter have been banned, but animals for breeding, which is cows and horses, still flourishes. Most of them are dairy cows. Sadly, most end up with serious diseases like dysentery, mastitis, and even the dreaded mycoplasma bovis. And these cows suffer a slow and agonizing death because the struggling farmers in Sri Lanka can't afford the veterinary care and Wellard are not providing it. Uh, if, if you're a Kiwi, please take the time to tell our Agricultural Minister that this is insane. It's an insane, cruel practice, this live shipment, and it's got to stop. I've left a link below which will take you through to an e-card. If you're in Australia, then please see if you can find a similar way of stopping it there too. That's it for today. I sure hope that you do get to watch the doco, The Big Fat Lie. I know I'm looking forward to seeing it tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you got something from this video, please share it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, clicking that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Remember, have great food, make it whole plant-based and be compassionate to all animals, including humans and our Minister of Agriculture. Perhaps if we show him compassion, he might get to know what it is and show it to the cows. Bye for now. <laughs>